Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is April 15th, and we are back at it. Looking to have some more fun today. Been having a good week so far. Going to keep an eye on price. Price action as it develops. We can see if our setups that we like to trade presents itself. And if they do, as always, we will not hesitate. We will execute. All right. So it's Friday, y'all. Let's have some fun. Then let's enjoy the rest of the weekend. So I'm here. Keep an eye on price action. All right, y'all. We're still keeping an eye on price action. But I'm going to mark out this... Um, Exhaustion level here for myself. I wanted to take a short trade as soon as I saw it because I saw it when it initially happened. I wanted to get in at 78, but I didn't know if I had enough mojo to get back to 73 to get my five points. So I did not take the trade. We'll see how price do in this in this area. If we get the follow through, or if they hold above it. To close below it, I'll take it short. above it and close above it I take the long so I'll see how price develops Uh, yeah, we were in our first trade. So volume picked up. We had a lot of stacking balances. Finished off with stacking balances. I'm expecting a, a push through. Um, everything is still pointing up. Everything is still pointed to the upside. So I'm expecting a continuation here. Even if they pull back into this this level here, maybe just a little pull back, pick up more uh, buyers, and then continue up. get to 85 I put on one more yeah once we get to 85 4185 I put on one more contract get to get two points out the last move Contract and I'm gonna let it rock out.
we got us. We got a selling balance popped up here. We gotta get. We gotta break through that. Get this last couple points, y'all. See what the, see what Mark is gonna do. Volume definitely picking up. We're matching the same volume. I love the fact that cumulative delta is so so high. And uh, delta bar increased here. All right, so I just need a little little push, a little nudgy up more to get a nice follow through. There we go. All right. So that was a good trade. We were we weren't in it too long. I definitely I identify. Hey, we were in the uptrend. Um, although we had this exhaustion print right doesn't necessarily mean it's going to react to it right away um could always be looking for a trade back to the exhaustion print or wait for price to come back and break below it and realize it can't break back above then you take shorts so me drawing the exhaustion prints i using it as a placeholder right so knowing that we're in an uptrend seeing from bar over bar that we're still positive and we're increasing Having all of these um, imbalances, these stacked imbalances on this candle and on this candle, I was like, all right, I definitely need to take the trade. So we had, we took two contracts on this one first. The first entry was at 41.82. And then I wanted to put on another one at 85, but I ended up putting it on a little bit early because it looked like price was about to spike. So I got the second one on at 41.83.75. So we're up on the day 412. All right, so we're just gonna take it easy now and wait for one more trade. All right, y'all, we have some data dropped at 10. We had diversions on that on the 10 o'clock candle, but because it's data, I don't think I want to trade it just yet. We had exhaustion here on this. On this print, we got exhaustion down here. Um, we got exhaustion here. We got exhaustion here. Um, I want to see price, I guess, stay above. If price stay above 41.83, then yes, I'll be considering long because then we didn't break back into this level down here. <laughs> but if we can't hold above 41.83 and we get back below 41.87, yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna go short. Definitely take the quick short, but <clears throat> then price want to stay up. So let's see. Who knows, it might just chop around here for a little bit. I'm currently debating where it would be a good spot to go long if we continue to push. If we keep pushing, where do I go long? I know where I want to go short, right? So now I need to identify where would I like to go long would be a good good long entry for five points.
I see prices retesting this 41.83 level. I just cracked it. Okay. Let me see as we come below this. Put a short on right here. Yes, yeah, we got buy exhaustion, sell exhaustion here again. All right, so, <clears throat> oh man, keep choking up. All right, I was going to put a short on, be aggressive at, 4174 I mean 4177 but I took it off I want I want to see price completely closed below uh, for me to take this short and it just did so put it all right we're in a trade that kind of happened pretty quick All right, so that that kind of went by quick. I'm talking through it. Price is moving quick, so we gotta see what's happening here. Um, we waited for, we wanted to get an aggressive entry at 41.77, but I wasn't sure if price might come just come down and then pull back up. So we waited for price to close. Once the price closed, we took the trade at 47, 41.75, um, and we we it's so close right now to get and feel. We gotta wait for price to come back. Hopefully we don't get stopped out for the two two ticks and we get the four or five points. Now make our day. Let's go. Come on, price action. Let us let us finish Friday with a nice banger, right? Look at that. Alright. So that was sweet, y'all. That was that was a good reversal play. Um and why I liked it. Um, the reason I liked it, I know we had a, I know on this, this 10 o'clock candle, we had exhaustion on both sides of the candle, but once price could not hold above it, as you can see price, it doesn't matter about the wick, it's about where price is, right? So price, although price at one point was all the way close to 41.88, see where the actual bar opened, right? Right there at that exhaustion and we push down I had this previous sell exhaustion level here from this candle over here so my thinking one initially one initially I said hey I like anything below 4177 um, but as price started to come down I try to be aggressive but my aggressiveness normally don't really play out most of the time, so I waited for to see price close completely. As soon as it did, I put on a limit order at forty one seventy five, and it was a nice, quick, um, nice quick fill for the for the five points, right? So that's my two trade for the day. We were up six twelve. Um, 
I might hang out. Um, it's now 10:10. Um, I might hang out for another 20 minutes and see if something good presents itself. But now that ten time, um, I'm I'm probably gonna just stop here for the day. So, but we'll keep an eye on price, um, and we'll see what else we can we can catch today, y'all.